Hello, and welcome to another edition of Inventor's Quick Tips. Today we are discussing the topic of claim terms and when they are used. If you have read any patent claims, you've encountered words such as uh, the, and said in the claims. These terms have special meanings in a patent claim, and that's what we are going to review in this video. So there are words we use along with our terms in the claims. Grammatically, these are called articles. There are two main articles we'll deal with in patent claims, the first being a or an, the second being the, and if you read patent claims, you'll also encounter the word said. For our purposes, we are going to treat said as equivalent to the, so going forward in this video, we'll just be talking about the use of the words a and the in a claim. So we use these articles to introduce claim terms. Let's jump in with an example claim. So here is a claim and it introduces and then later discusses multiple elements. And every time an element is introduced, it uses the article a uh, or an. So it has an enclosure, a light emitting diode, a cable, and also let's highlight the other terms that are introduced. So now, circled in red, are all the introduced terms. This represents the first time in a claim that a term was discussed. For subsequent uses of the terms, we'll use the article the. So here we have the enclosure, since the enclosure was already introduced at the beginning of that line and we'll highlight the other places where a term is used after it was introduced. There is a strong analogy with the claim articles and certain computer programming languages such as C. In C, we must declare a variable before we use it. So here we declared an integer variable i, and now that it is declared, we can use the variable in the lines below where it was declared. If instead we never declared it and we just try to use it, the compiler would give us an error. The claim terms work in a similar manner. So let's look at another example. Pause the video here for about 30 seconds and look at this claim. See if you spot any problems with regards to a term that was not properly introduced. Okay, so did you find it? we never introduced our crossover circuit. So the patent office would flag this as what's known as an antecedent basis error. How can we fix this? We need to use the article a uh when we introduce the crossover circuit. Note that in the last line, we still use the since we already introduced the crossover circuit two lines above. So hopefully that helped clarify about how claim terms are introduced. Once again, thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe.